Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a stitchy floss tube crafty video for you today. I do. I kind of have been going around my house with a, a lint roller because these cats of mine have been loving laying on all my project bags. And also, um, I've been collecting all of my projects together to share with you and to see what I have in the works. So we'll start with works in progress or whips. I know. Um, I made this bag a while ago. It's very Canadian. I have a Christmas whip in it and I have a bunch of Christmas charms on here. And it is holding my Kringles. It's a mess, but this is, I keep stuff on clipboards, but this is the Kringles. This is a big one, guys. This was started, I can actually tell you because I brought my notebook up here with me. Maybe I can tell you. Where'd it go? I was just writing in it. Oh, I found it. I have one of these DMC books. I can stitch something on the front, but I keep all of my starts and finishes in here. Like I can tell you that was the first project I ever did. I know, but let's get to the Kringles. Not why you're here. The Kringles by Little House Needleworks was started on April 30th of 2020. This is my oldest whip. It is on Artiste by uh, Zweigart, 32 count. I dyed it pearl gray and then the called for flosses. I bought the floss pack for this. And I wanted this to look like cement. I hope you can see it. This is where I'm at. So the outside of the building is complete. I just need to fill these nine rooms and then put Kringles on there. So it's a storefront. Why did I stop working on this, you ask? I have no idea. I just put it away. So I don't even know. But it got put away. This is some fabric, like I said, that I dyed. I just got some pearl gray. Um... tie-dye stuff, that writ dye. I loved doing the roof and the brick. It was very meditative for me. And the little windows, and it's all counted correctly. I know. So, like I said, I'll need to do the little scenes in each window, and that's probably why I stopped. So I'm not sure. I might start down here because I do know that my I was a little off count in this box, so I will fudge all that and get it working. So we'll probably start at the bottom floor and work our way up. Maybe it'll be done this year. These are my working copies of the pattern. When I tell you that I write all over my patterns, I am not lying. They're a mess. This is all working copies of different Oh, I can throw these away. This is a finish, working copy of a finish. Okay, Kringles. And I did make a copy of the floss page and the key. To me, that's just easier. So these are, I did the building, it's all marked off. So next thing I will do is start. And I keep all of them on a, when I'm working, cause then I can see it and write better. But this will, this is gonna come back out real soon. And then in here, I also made this bag to match and it's all the flosses are in here. This was a little pricey endeavor for me, but I didn't care. Oh, and apparently here's my gold that I'm gonna need. Um, but I have them all in floss away bags, although I think these are the Hobby Lobby brand, but I have all my colors in here and then there will be some gold happening at some point oh and this must be the colors these must have been for the roof 
I don't, yeah, these are the roof colors. So I pulled them out and put them on a ring because I was using them to do the roof. So now these will get put away and then pulled out as I need them. So I need to come up with a different plan because in these little rooms, I mean, I will change colors a lot. So we're gonna need to figure that out, but that'll be another day not today so that's my first work in progress that needs to be brought out into the world right because we need things in the world so they go in here and that's my oldest whip right there these will go into the trash because i don't need them any longer now, currently, what I have been working on the last little bit has been, let me see if I can find the actual pattern. This is Nevermore by Lila Studio. I'm obsessed with that big crow. I think this is a very Halloween stitch for me or like fall. Um, it says, once upon a midnight dreary, while I ponder weak and weary, quoth the raven. Nevermore. Sorry, I hit you. I'm trying to fix you. Ah, you're also plugged in because my battery was dying. And I think that's what's pulling you off center. Hold on. There, I think that's gonna be, as best as we're gonna be able to make this. There we go. Better? I hope, who cares? Anyway, Lila's Studio. Um, mostly called for floss, although I did have to go buy some more floss. So this is where I'm at with this. Um, I finished this motif here, this like banding, and then all the little um, reverse pendants. They're not filled in yet. And then I, ty I typed, I stitched, Nevermore, Raven, and I'm getting the working on that. It is in this Q-snap, a little off center. So when I switch projects, I need to fix that. It's kind of going uphill. This is a Q-snap. This is an 11 by 17. I like it for bigger projects. I like to be able to see um, across. So this is where I'm at with this. I will be possibly, I would like to get Quoth of the Raven and this part of the pattern done. And then I'm going to put this away and pull out my um, Kringles. So I did switch one color. I think the chart called for Gentle Arts Blackboard, and I couldn't find that when um, I was kidding this up, and it was back during the COVID times. I don't remember when I started this. I didn't write it down. So it called for Gentle Art and I bought Weeks Dye Works, which only comes with five yards on a skein. And I think that is way less than the Gentle Art, which is why I ran out. So I went back to the store the other day and I'll show you some stuff I also bought. But I did get more of this chalkboard color, which is like a, a gray black. Um, I got three skeins of it. That should be enough to finish this project and then maybe have a little extra left and if i do that's fine it's like a gray it's i will use it i'm not worried about that so and i keep all of that stuff in my ever tote bag by caroline of off the grid needle arts and my boys the cats have been sleeping on that like maniacs but they are and then my other and last work in progress is this temperature chart and i started this january 1st and each shelf represents a month and each book represents a temperature for that day. So it's a, it's a year long chart. I came up with my own colors cause I definitely wanted something random and I made this and I laminated it to tell me, this tells me what the temperature is. Like if the range is 68 to 71, what DMC color and what number on here correspond so I have numbers on this because if you can see there's a lot of floss involved for this so just to make it a little more organized I will show you I have finished April um I need to continue working on the clip on the 
bookshelf for May. So we're at the 2nd of May right now while I'm filming this. I need to fill in this little picture here and then I need to build the rest of the May bookshelf and start working. So I'll move this up in the Q-snap or in the, this is just a hoop. I'll move it up and then I need to start working on the other month shelves. But right now, January is fully complete. February is complete. March is complete. April is the books are all done for the temperature. I just need to finish the little doodad here and I need to do the first couple of days of May. I'm loving this and I'm loving that I switched up the colors. I didn't want all blue, all, you know, I know that's kind of the point. Next year I'm doing a temperature tree and that I will go by the colors, but I really wanted this to be random. And the Fiddler's Cloth, if you can see, brings a little bit of texture to the bookshelf and makes it feel very like rustic and I love it. So this doesn't even have a bag because I work on it pretty much daily. And if not daily, minimally once a week, I work on it. Okay, now I have a finish. This is not a new finish. We are not celebrating this finish. I just wanted to show you. This was finished a while ago. I'm not sure why I never fully finished it. So we're gonna work on that. But I know I got this back in 2020 as well because I picked this up when I, it was a market release. Um, 2019 but I picked it up when I went and got my Kringles at my threat my store but this is hands-on design boo chock full and I stitched that one there's a couple more patterns in here I could stitch and then I bought the trim to finish it and I even have the fabric to make this a pillow I don't know why I never finished it I did take some liberties. Don't ask me what these color is, but I went with a little more of a teal. And the fabric is not black. It's definitely a dark gray, but I like it. And I think it's super cute. So I have this finished. Why I abandoned this in the middle of a page, I cut the fabric, but why I'm so far from the bottom and the side, I don't, I don't, I don't really know, but we'll just pretend that I'm not. So I just need to stitch it up. Not a big deal, but this is complete and it is Boo Chockful by Hands On Designs. And I did get this at my local stitching store here in Columbus. It's called Cross My Heart is the name of the stitchy store. So this will stay in this bag because it's finished. It's just not fully finished. So that needs to be left up here in my sewing room. Now, speaking of fully finished, I have two fully finishes. Two fully finished items to show you. Um, the first one, I don't even know where the pattern is, but it is the 2018. Now, I showed you this finished, but now it's fully finished. Prairie Schooler Santa, I put velvet on the black back. Black velvet. Sing with me. I put black velvet on the back. And then this is yarn from Joanne. It is Burnat Extra Plush. But if you can see the color variation, it is so throwback to the 70s. I'm dying. I love it. So I filled it about to right here is ground up walnut shells to give it that weight and then up here is um it's fiber fill just to fill it out i didn't need to stuff the entire thing but i wanted some weight involved so i did about half and half so that it can stand really and just lean on its own and it has some weight to it so i finished that ah, fully finished thank you very much and then my other fully finished object is going to be my name tag. This is Quirky B, Quirky. Quirky, where did I put my? Ah. It's in my book. You would think I have my life together by now, but that is really not the case. Oh, it's probably this way. Yeah, this is Quirky Quaker Queen Bee by Darling and Whimsy. I started April 1st, I finished it April 2nd. It was done on some random 
Looks like Ada, and I just used some black, yellow, and white DMC floss. Nothing fancy here. So I stitched it. I did add my name to the bottom, because I'm gonna wear this as a name badge to a, any retreats I go to. I put a little bee charm on it, and then at the bottom, this is 2022. This is the year I started and finished it, and the year I was at my first retreat. And 2023, because I've already booked for my retreat next year, so I just went ahead and stitched that on. I added a little Krynik type sparkly in the crown and I love it. The back I just did with some honeycomb fabric and I made a little pocket to hold like my room key, some cash, my credit card. So when I'm walking around, um, I will wear this with my name and I'll have that with me. So that's a second fully finished. I probably won't have any fully finished for a little bit, but those were two that are done and can now be put away. And I think that's it for stitchy goodness. I have some sewing that I will show you. So I don't know if I showed you this fabric, but I ordered this off of Etsy and it is part of the, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So the designer of the fabric is from the UK and they designed this fabric. And if you look inside the little carriage, you see that little purple? It's the queen in her carriage waving. I'm dying. So I ordered a half a yard of this fabric. So I have a little bit extra. And then I got on the inside the crowns. I wanna make something else and I will, I don't know what. This is holding, oh, it's holding a pattern that I'm going to be starting soon. And it is the Jubilee ER Elizabeth Regina. There's a crown. It says her reign so far from 1952 to 2022. And at the bottom it says Royal Jubilee. And there's some flowers. So I bought this off of Etsy as well. It is Jubilee Pincushion Ornament by Helen Phillips. So that goes in here because I'm going to be working on it and keeping it in here. I even got a little, that's backwards, a little crown jewel for my zipper pull. So I sewed that. And then while I was making that, I also made this bag and it's a flat bottom like a knitting bag. I'm gonna keep like notions and stuff in it and it says Ohio all over it. And then on the inside is fabric that just says Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. And I like these bags because they open nice and wide. You can actually even like fold the top down if you're working on like a knitting project or something. Fold the top down, have your project in here, or for me, like right now, I just have some cross-stitch stuff that I'll show you in a minute because they're new acquisitions, but it makes like a little seated bag, and then you can and then I can just pop the top back up and zip it shut. I don't have a charm yet, but I'll get one. So I sewed these two items. Or just crafty business, you know, you gotta be crafters, people. You gotta be crafters. Okay. Oh, this is just a loop of uh, thing. Oh, I got a fur in my mouth or a lint, who knows. Now, I will show you one piece of save the stitching. So I was out, I went to my uh, stitching store the other day and if you saw my Monday vlog you would have seen this but I got save the stitches this is a little cross stitch pattern somebody created when no idea there's no marks or dates and I'm assuming it's a little kit because it's all cut perfect but somebody hand stitched this and did a very lovely job at that on a piece of Ada. And it just says St. Patrick's Day and there's a little batting in between and then on the back. I don't, I honestly don't know anything about this other than I'm assuming this was some type of a kit and it came with that. But 
we're keeping this because we are saving the stitches. If we find, like when I'm out and I'm doing my, um, looking at the thrift stores and I find cross stitching, I usually try to pick it up. And this was a quarter, so it wasn't even that big of a deal, but I liked it. And yeah, new, old, I don't know. So we have that for save the stitching today. Now the rest, that I have is new purchases. So I made an order on Fat Quarter Shop. Oops. I wanted a new Q-Snap, an 11 by 11. And what I like about Q-Snaps is they're interchangeable. So if I'm working on something, I have an eight by eight, but if I want, I can take this apart and build like an eight by 11 Q-Snap or two actually. So it just really depends, but they are interchangeable. They pop apart. They have these, um, actually I'm a little one. These slide off and the, I think you can put them in the dishwasher if they get loose. Mine have not gotten loose yet, but I don't use a lot of extra fabric either. But they, they come in pieces, see here? And you can just snap them together, but you can also snap them together and make different size Q-snaps. What I like is they hold your fabric taut. They haven't been creasing my fabric and I haven't noticed. Now I don't snap my stitches typically under here. So I haven't noticed that issue. And I do know some folks said when it starts getting loose, A, you can order just this piece to replace these. You can put them in the dishwasher and they will like tighten back up or they put fabric over it to hold it taut. So this is the Q-Snap brand. I only have the Q-Snap brand, so I can't really speak on anything else, but I have an 11 by 17 and 11 by 11, and I love this little eight by eight for hand stitching. Um, I don't typically hold the other ones in my hand because they are heavy. Like heavier than a, than like a hoop. This is just a hoop I purchased when I was learning to cross stitch. I bought some wooden hoops and I bought some plastic ones, you know, just to try to see what I like and what I land on. And I use a plastic hoop too. I use them all, not a problem. Okay, so also at um, my cross stitching store, no, from, the Fat Quarter Shop, I ordered two packages of these. These are floss drops. Now this is like a hard paper, almost, I guess, like a um, cardstock, but there's a, a shiny side and a paper side. And I got 30 of these. They're pretty stable. My, If I hang my floss on them, it's not going to rip when I take my floss off like a cardstock. It's almost like cardboard, but not quite as thick. So it's got nice. It came with the ring. I ordered two packs of 30. So I have 60 of these drops too. And then I would just write on here with a Sharpie what um, color is on here. So I grabbed two packs, thread drops is what they're called, and then the rest of them are in here. So you just, you know, the one, one ring is not gonna hold all the, all 60 of them, and I grabbed two. Because I prefer to work off of, off of a thread drop and not off of, or a floss drop and not off of bobbins. I don't like how kinky the fabric or the thread gets when you wrap it around the little bobbins, and that's just personal choice. Everybody does what they want. So then I went in, like I said earlier, I went into the cross, um, it's cross my heart in Columbus, Ohio, and I needed floss, but you can't just buy floss. So I bought other floss and then I bought some John James needles to try. I've been using Bowen from France, B-O-H-I-N. I do not like DMC. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So I'm gonna try these John James as well. People said that these are even a little better than the Bowen. And as far as better to me, means that they're strong enough that when I'm working with them, they're not bending and the eye is not breaking. I When I first started, I was using DMC needles and they were I was breaking these left and right. They are so weak, so weak. So I'm not gonna open these because I don't need them quite yet, but 
it's always good to have, especially if you can't get these at like Joanne or Michaels. John James is sold, and this was $3.10 for six needles. And Bowen, I typically order off of Etsy. So, I mean, I've been using the same needles for some time now, but I always just have to have a backup. And then I bought from Primrose Cottage Stitches, this stitch here, it says, be nice or buzz off. And it's nice, cute little chart, and it's charted in DMC, which, again, you can do what you want. If I will probably do this on an 18 count, it'll be four inches across by two inches tall. So these are just little. But I really wanted this little bees for um, something I'm going to show you here in a minute, an upcoming project. So I grabbed this one, and then I was obsessed with this chart. And this is A, B, C, and on 18 or count or 32, it will be seven inches by three. So again, not large, not large at all. Loving this. Um, I can't show you the inside because it's the chart, but look at the little bee skip or hive there. Oh, the little bees. And I'm loving this colors. And I need to go and purchase the DMC floss because I don't think I have these colors. I'll look through my stash, but I don't I don't feel like I have any of these colors, but I might. And Lindsay Waite is the one that designed these with Prim, Primrose Cottage Stitches. So these came out this year at market. These are 2022. So I grabbed them this year. And I will be starting them soon because as you can see, I don't have a lot of projects going. Now, the other thing that I got new, oh, I'm obsessed. I met at um, Stitch North, Erica. Erica Sage, and she is True North Needle Minders, and she has a Facebook group. I hope you can see that. True North. She sent me, well, this one I had. She sent me all of these needle minders. They're the queen. She made them for me. They're for the Jubilee. Can you believe that? And look at them. And then this Canada one, I have another one I'm using. This here is the official pin, which I ordered from England. And I got the pin and it was broken. They're sending me a new one, but I made this one a needle minder. I don't know if you can see that. Let us focus, shall we? Um, it's not going to focus, but so I made that needle minder, but she sent me all of these. So go check her out for sure. I am obsessed. It's all different pictures of the queen. And this is from the Dollar Tree and it holds my needle minders. So I have that. And then she also sent me the official pin of Canada for the Platinum Jubilee. And this one is nice. I'm going to stick these on my pin, on my um, project bag when my one from England shows up, right? Because that's how we work. Okay, so I think, I don't know if I showed you this. I ordered this on um, Amazon and it was literally like $2, $2.50. It's 18 count Ada in white, which is the equivalent of a 32 count linen. I have a couple smalls I want to do, um, and I needed some Ada to do them on, I, some white. I didn't need it, but I wanted to do them on a white Ada um, because they're little, and this has a little more standing up ability. There is a, um, there's a sizing or a starch in this fabric where the linen doesn't have that. So I wanted something a little stiffer. That's the word. So I grabbed that. Not a big deal. It was like $2 on Amazon. A uh, link to Amazon is in my bio. I do have a storefront. I just found these randomly and I need to take them back downstairs. So we'll put them in here. That's the problem, guys. I have floss all over my house. Now, upcoming. What is it that I want to do besides the bees? I purchased this and I'm actually on the hunt, any of my US people, I'm on the hunt for a couple more. I wanna gift one to somebody. And if you saw my retreat, 
I was the recipient of a fantastic smalls exchange and I would like to reciprocate and make a little, get one of these and probably the white milk glass and stitch something and make a um, pin cushion. So what you do is you set this on your stitchy chair if you're not aware and these little holes in the open lace, hold your scissors. And in my case, I have a pair of tweezers with black cats because my cats, this is how I grab the fur when I want it out of my stitching. But this is not done yet. So I ordered this one on eBay and I've been scouring local um, thrift stores looking for some more of these, but I would like a white one, I think. I don't know if everybody else would appreciate the green. I do. So anywho, upcoming projects, the bees, I've already, oh, so what I did is I took, sorry, I took a piece of foam core board and I cut the size circle that I wanted, covered it in muslin and stuffed it with fiber fill. Right? So, um, hold on, my computer is not happy with me. Stuffed it with fiber fill to make it a pin cushion. And then I'm going to stitch on this linen, trim it down, and then this is where my stitching will be for my pin cushion. And I want to put some bees on here. That's why one of the reasons I wanted that other pattern. And then this literally just pops in here. I, I will not permanently make it stay in here. It just sits in there. You know, when I'm ready to put it in there, it'll go in a little tighter. Once I have all the fabric attached, and it will just sit there. And you can put something in the bottom if you wanted. Um, so I have this, I even drew my circle to cut it on the back with pencil. So I have this cut out and I have the fabric. So I, this is one of my, I want to start maybe tonight and do the little bees. So I got that. And then I have this little bag here. Um, these are things that I got at my stitchy retreat that I would like to do. So Davette, my table mate, gave us all this floss. But she also gave us, as a table mate gift, this Lazy Kate, uh, Lizzy Kate pattern of the little bunnies for spring. And so I need to stitch that with these colors. So that's on my smalls list. Um, also at the retreat from Bryn and Needle, we received some red and black floss that they hand dyed. A little a needle and a little piece of linen to sample and then they gave us this pattern here it was a freebie and it was designed by darling and whimsy ah so cute and it's stitch for a friend with my heart and my hand so it's a little a little freebie I can't show you the pattern too quickly because it's not mine to share and I don't have a picture of the of it finished, but I'll show you when it's done. And then the same thing for my Stitch North chart we received. This chart and also this Leo and Roxy floss. These colors are everything. And I need to find some fabric. So these are some little, just some little starts that I have coming up that I want to do. And since they're all pretty much kitted up and ready to go. Oops. Um, I'm leaving them in this little bag so I know, and I just have to dig out a little bit of fabric. Although, I do have a piece of Ada that I tossed in here. Just some leftover Ada. I may do it on that. I have some other fabrics. This one I made, the little Lizzie Kate, I may do on that Ada. And this is all kitted up and ready to go. I need to go to Joanne probably after work and get the floss for the bees. And then I can start that. So these are all the little the littles I want to start. My plan is to have my two big things going, which is the Kringles and the Nevermore. So I will rotate probably a week on on each of them. I feel like is a nice rhythm. And then I want to have some little smalls to work on as well. And I need to think about a smogs for my stitchy retreat that I have coming up in May. It's a year away. I know that. But I also think I want to go to the one in June next year here in Ohio. So that's two next year. 
so I just have to think ahead. Stitching is not a quick project. So if anybody local to me has a hand or uh, knows where I can get a couple of these little glass compotes, they're like five inches long, not big at all, but it has to have this open lace, drop me a line so I can go check it out and look for it. And not to be confused with my finishes. I love these. Guys, I am obsessed. We need to get a, we need to get a thumbnail. What do you think? I think so. All right, we're done. We have everything. Don't forget to save the stitches. If you're out and about and you see some needlework, you should pick it up and find a good home for it so that somebody worked hard on these. All right, everybody, that is all I have today. I hope you enjoy, and I will talk to you again in a few weeks.